Welcome to another installment of Getting Creative With, the show mm -hmm. where ADL staff gets creative with an arbitrarily chosen topic to stay creative, uh, to expose themselves to new ideas, and to stay insane during quarantine. Um, my name is Ksenia. With me, I have Mackenzie, Beth, Heidi, and Aurora. And you guys, this week's theme is buttons. So buttons on a coat, buttons on a computer or a television set. What do we have this week? I know that I was just telling Mackenzie earlier before we started recording that I was overwhelmed with the button choices at Joann's. So let me know how you did. All righty. So first up, we have Heidi. All right. So, um... Yeah, I was overwhelmed with the button craft ideas out there and really wanted to do them all. <laughs> so I made a few things, but I'll focus on what I, what I, my main focus was I made some button earrings. So I have them hung on here for you to view. Um, yeah, so I also made one that is a flower that has like a post uh, earring. So I'm still kind of working on that one. I have to clean it up though, because there's a lot of hot glue, which you probably can't see, but I was very messy with my hot glue. So yeah, I've always wanted to make button earrings. I have a lot of, uh, I have a whole board on my Pinterest of button crafts, because I've looked at different stuff sometimes for doing library programs. And so anyway, that's mm -hmm. what I did. <laughs> Can you show the, uh, the middle dangling ones with the multiple? Um, like, I just want to get a better view of this. They're all really, oh, I love it. Yeah, love it's just using uh, jump rings and attaching them that way. Um, so yeah, huh. I kind of attach them in each of the holes of the buttons to dangle them along. Very cute, all of them are. So, and then these are made just with um, a whole piece of wire and you can see like, and then it's bent into the ear hook. You probably can't really see that very well. There we go, maybe if I show it against the wall, so mm -hmm. yeah. A um, little dab of glue so that that top bead wouldn't come falling off. And then uh, that's, that's what we got. <laughs> Adorable. I feel, I was wearing these yesterday. I felt very artsy, I have to say. <laughs> and I do have a dress that um, is, uh, it's a resistors print, electrical resistors. And it's like reds, yellows, and uh, like a brown color dot. So I think these will go very well with when I wear that dress. I should have been wearing it today, but I just wasn't prepared for modeling, I guess. <laughs> so, right. I, like the, I like the color choice that you pick. That's really kind of, they work really well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, see, you used a lot of hot glue. Um, so I see that you've threaded some of them onto the wire. Where did you use the hot glue? Because I can't even tell. Oh, those didn't have hot glue. Um, it was just these. Oh, just oh, okay. to attach the buttons. You can see how very messy it is on the back. <laughs> uh, let's see. But uh, I mean, really, how close are you going to get up to my ears? These days, <laughs> you're not. So I guess I don't have to worry too much. <laughs> so I'm just hoping I put the post in the right place so that they hang okay on my ears. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Were those buttons that you had already or did you buy buttons? Yeah, I just had a mix of some spare buttons laying around from, from um, and also some of my program supplies from the library from doing button programs. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. So it's nice to have a, have a variety to play with, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Thank you. All right, all right. Well, all right, can I go? Am I, yeah, your am turn. I next? Okay, well, um, I made a button wreath. And thank you. Um, I was talking about this last week because it, it's not real, you know, it's not real sturdy, but it's still pretty. So I was um, inspired by the, the colors that my daughter's planning to use for her nursery. I don't know if this will make it make the cut to the nursery art, but so that's where that's where it came from. It's oh, natural yeah. colors. Yeah. What that's did you use for the um for the scaffolding? I just took some I took a file folder. I you know so it's it's hard 
cardstock, but it's not as, you know, as sturdy as I think would be helpful. I mean, I think it will still lay okay uh, on a hook or anything set on a hook, but, um, but yeah, if I do one again, and now I'm all out of all my spare buttons pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, I would, I would do it a little. In fact, I did make another one on a harder piece of cardboard. Um, this is not, this is just a, a fanciful piece of art. Oops. Ah! <laughs> that one button just won't stay, but uh, cause it's, it's got, it's raised in the center. So it's hard. I've, I've put a lot of glue on it, but anyway, all right, here's this little, it looks really weird, but um, I threw some sequins on where there were some blank spots, but um, what it is, I, I couldn't tell you. It's just green and yellow buttons. Do you use uh, hot glue or do you use? Uh... I, yeah, I use hot glue. It's, I have a really old hot glue gun. So I, I think, I don't know if that made a difference. It just seemed like some of the things weren't sticking so well uh -huh. on this. But again, these buttons with different textures, they're hard, some of them are really hard to stay. But anyway. Oh, and then also with some of the ones that had the little buttonhole that I, I, I crammed them into the cardboard. Mm -hmm. The ones that didn't sit flat, I poked through. Uh -huh. um, but that's, yeah, that's it. But anyway, here's the, here's the <laughs> official... The official right. product. I like how you've layered them. The you know, there's you've built up depth on there. On so this one, really, yeah, yeah. On the yeah. Reef. Thank you. I um, I looked at a tutorial. Um, it, it was all, and I, I, you can see where there's space between there. I, you know, I just didn't have enough small. Like I didn't work on. I didn't plan it out well <laughs> enough, I guess. But but anyway, it it works, and it's. It's a button wreath. And you could maybe still attach another piece of cardstock to the back of that. I, yeah. If you wanted to cut another ring to reinforce it maybe. That's what I was, I was thinking of that. So yeah, I, I, I will do that. Mm -hmm. So far, yeah, I've, I've gone back to everything I've made and touched it up, so. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was trying to do like a smaller ring like, like cut some strips, but that didn't work. So I just said, We'll go like this, but I'll, I'll, I'll see how I can do that. If I, I did take some, I put some buttons on the back. I could take those off and put the cardboard on. And we'll see. Or it could, could just end up in a drawer. You could also use it as like a frame. So if you wanted to do something that's thicker and glue that on top of with a picture in the center mm -hmm. and use it as a frame. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a picture. Put a picture of you oh, in there I to see. hang in the yeah, yeah, yeah. room. A picture what? Of, of you. The... Oh, right. For the baby. Yes. yes. <laughs> Waving at the baby. <laughs> That's a cute idea. Um, yeah, I actually did set it on. I, I was looking for cork board, too, to see if I could do something with that, and I couldn't find any. So anyway, thanks for the ideas. I appreciate it. I, I worked with a button like the one that you were on the on your other piece uh, yeah. that doesn't lay flat, um, like that flower shape one mm -hmm. to make a pair. I ended up not liking the earrings; they're too heavy. Um, but anyway, I had to cut that that loop off, and I'm oh. thinking like, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing that because. Yeah. How did you? Do <laughs> I mean, that? actually, one of them cut really easy. I had um, some. I had a jewelry tool. It was oh, kind of like okay. a clamp uh, with sharp. Um, it, it cut through it okay, but it, the bits went flying. So I was like, yeah, don't try that at home. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good idea, though. Yeah, so maybe mm -hmm. you could try, if you wanted to, you, you could risk trying to cut it, and uh, then it might glue flat. Mm -hmm. That's okay. a lovely piece, too, that abstract. I like all those. Thank I like you. those colors and tones. So. Yeah, again, I was helping my daughter with her choosing paint colors for her bathroom and that's how I got inspired. I just happened to see some green and yellow together. I don't know that she'll take this for decoration, but, but anyway, it's nice and summery. Yeah. So. yeah. Good. Yeah. Sure. Something I've learned during this project as well is that a lot of buttons put together um, are very heavy. 
Yes, it's surprising, that, right? It is, yes. I've, I've not yet, you know, put many hundreds of buttons as I have on this particular piece ever the before. The buttons are falling off. You know. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Thank you for that. Thank you. Aurora, what do oh. you have I didn't realize I was, I didn't even pay attention what order we we're going to be. Um, Surprise. I, um, I thought about buttons too, and there is so many buttons out there, and with staying at home, it's very limited. I don't have to supply buttons and try to do as much as I can, but I happen to have a piece that was done a while back ago that was really simple, and I happen to have all white button that was done is the button tree. Oh, pretty. That you just put foams in it and put belt. And then um, I happened to have white buttons a while back, so I glued it and with the stars. So I thought it would be something neat someone make for the holiday. And it's really plain, but at the same time, um, you know, with Christmas, it's kind of nice to just have white. So I, I just, at that time, I chose um, just white and clear buttons to be put on it. And I thought it'd be nice for upcoming holidays, to inspiration really? for, for people to, to make. Um, so mm -hmm. it was something that was, I just have to look for and find it and mm -hmm. stick it back out. And like, okay, this is my button project that I did. Very nice. That's beautiful. Did you uh, plan it out beforehand, or did you just pick out the buttons and start gluing them um, haphazardly? I didn't plan it. I just kind of start at you know one area and then just work with it as mm -hmm. as I go, and then just keep turning the tree and see where I should fit certain things to fit mm -hmm. on it, make it look you know nice and stuff. Yeah. Cool. So, very cool. Very elegant. I, I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, that makes a nice centerpiece. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And you're right. It's like the buttons by themselves are just kind of plain, but put together like that, or they're just, they look so stunning and detailed. Yeah. And really so. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. So was that hot glue that you used for the buttons? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need to jump onto this hot glue gun train because I... I'm missing out on so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, I mean, you, you have a choice, either um, hot glue or tacky glue. I think that also works pretty well, the tacky glue does too. And, and I have other projects with tacky glues. And the core of it is um, a, oh. a foam, foam piece and the hot glue doesn't destroy it? No, um, the, well, it's, it's the foam piece, but I wrap the felt around it first oh, okay. before I glue the uh, button on the felt. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. That's smart. Yeah, it also creates a really solid backdrop for the buttons. That's a really good idea. Huh. Yeah, that is. Cool. All right. Well, yeah, I actually saw that on Pinterest um, for, for like a Thanksgiving like tree, um, a Halloween tree, again, with buttons and everything. But yeah, the Christmas ones I have not seen yet. Yeah. I think even Heidi did a craft at one point, uh, button trees or something like that too mm -hmm. before, wasn't it? Oh, I did button flowers. Oh, button Those flowers. I was tempted to make again. Those were so much fun too. It was just um, stacking different size buttons together with a right. wire. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I can yeah. shoot you a picture that you can throw into this just so people know what I'm talking about. But yeah, yeah. those were really, I, I, it was a button bouquet. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that and that's what made me think about, oh yeah, it's just nice to, to button with something else or like a plan. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Aurora. And um all right, I suppose it is now my turn. And um so for this craft for with buttons, I made a ugh, I made a button tapestry. Take away uh, strawberry. Uh, uh, nice. And this week I discovered that um, buttons are very heavy. 
that I need to get familiar with a glue gun because I hand sewed every button onto this tapestry. <laughs> oh my goodness. And um, that, that overlapping buttons is okay. And that the round shapes of the majority of buttons as you find in stores um, don't lend themselves well to free form organic little um, button illustrations like this. So this was mm -hmm. hard to do. I'm liking how it's turning out. What I'm going to do is um, hem the edges and put a dowel through the top mm -hmm. and hang it up in my kitchen as like food decoration. Mm. Um, I like the food imagery. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and maybe fill in a few more with a few more beads and buttons. Like I, just cause there are a few, a few white spaces in there on the muslin, but I really liked how it turned out. I liked the richness of it. Um, I liked how it looks sort of like needlepoint. And it was just a fun sort of organic project to do. And I really wanted to focus on the decorative aspect of it. So um, that's gonna go up in my kitchen eventually. Is it a strawberry or a it's tomato? A stra it's a, a strawberry. strawberry. Yeah. I yes. Okay. I'm gonna yes. go ahead. That was it's an abstract really strawberry. <laughs> I, like I, think, it. I like the look of them. Be, I had thought about doing something like that, like uh, something with sewn buttons as a as a decorative object. Actually, I was kind of tempted. I, I remember seeing once um, a jacket, uh, you know, the artist Annie Lennox. Yeah. And she was wearing like a like a suit blazer and it had it was all decked out in buttons. Like it was just covered in buttons. And I was like, that would be kind of cool. But I don't know if I could really carry off wearing something like that. So, mm -hmm. and there's no way I would have gotten it done in time. But anyway, yeah. back to your project. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I mean, glue guns are nice and all, but I think it had that has a nice quality being on the fabric and with the stitching and everything. So, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I would go back with a glue gun. I think it would have been a lot faster. I mean, this took me forever to make. Um, but yeah, I do like how flexible it is as a result and how um, movable it is and how tactile the whole project was. Um, I don't know that I'll ever do something like this ever again because <laughs> it, it was, again, like I didn't plan this out. Um, so I just did it free form and freehand as I added more buttons. I'm like, I'm just gonna go ahead and trust the process and eventually it'll look like a strawberry maybe. Um, so with something like weaving, for instance, or stitching, like cross stitch, like where you're counting the stitches, where you're, where you're planning out the pattern beforehand, um, I like that quite a bit more. But this was really interesting to do because I was able to, I don't know, I guess, name something that I didn't, uh, that I wasn't particularly adept at or I didn't particularly enjoy, but I had to, I definitely had to work a lot harder to stay with this project than I did with like my weaving project, for instance. Mm -hmm. This is really interesting, but it's going to bring me joy during the cold, cold winter months um, when I can look forward to strawberries in the spring. <laughs> so did you went to the store and buy a whole bunch of red buttons and green buttons before yeah. you project? Too? Yeah, I had, I had some just um, left over from a previous project and I had a ton of muslin uh, fabric. So I just used what I had at hand. And I also went to Joanne's and I looked through all the buttons and I just pretty much grabbed all of their, their red section, like a handful of that and a handful of the green section and just went up to the register. <laughs> so that was about it. Oh, so okay. yeah, straightforward, pretty. And um, never again. I've stuck <laughs> my hand so many times with my needle. Um, <laughs> Thimbles are important. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Mackenzie, what do you have this okay. week? <laughs> okay, my dog's gonna join us. Hey. She won't be quiet now. <laughs> so I also made a button tree, but different. Ooh, pretty. Aww. So I don't know how detailed you can see. I guess I can kind of get it closer. But oh, those yeah. are the kind of buttons I'm doing, and uh -huh. you just <laughs> paint a tree, and then you add buttons. Right. And you made button flowers, too, it looks like. Yeah. It's like yeah. yeah, that's lovely. I love it. <laughs> Is it on canvas? 
Yeah, it's on a canvas. Mm -hmm. okay. I think this is the best tree I've ever painted. I'm horrible at sketching and painting. It's, I like it. I like it. Uh, it, it. I'm always surprised that everything turns out so different when we do these things, you know? Mm -hmm. but yeah, no, I like it, Mackie. And, and like what it. kind of glue did you use? Elmer's. <laughs> oh. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. It was specifically clear Elmer's, so it would dry clear so you wouldn't see it through the holes yeah but yeah also the paint was kind of wet when i put it down so i guess i'm guess a mixture of elmer's and paint <laughs> yeah nice and what kind of paint um it's just the, the the craft paints that are about this big and the bottles are i think acrylic mm -hmm. okay. cool. so why did you choose a tree um when I was thinking about it last night, because I, I got got asked to do this <laughs> last minute, um, I was debating whether making a button doll or just painting something. Yeah. And a tree a tree is very simple, simple shapes for me to do. Mm -hmm. I am a horrendous at painting unless it's like geometric. So I wanted to try doing some swirls with buttons, a little less geometric because I feel like buttons and geometrics are a little too pristine and I didn't want to do something super pristine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I also have a little bit of, if I did a square, for instance, I would have to like measure and make sure it was perfect. And I just, <laughs> there's not enough time in the day for me to make it perfect before this. These projects are meant to not be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it would drive me crazy if I was looking at it, so. Yeah. Well, it's cute. So will you be putting that up anywhere? I don't know. Maybe. It depends. It might be something that goes in a nursery, but it, it's probably going to go on my craft, my completed craft box for a later date. Mm -hmm. well, nice. I'm glad I'm not the only one who has, like, a box full of stuff that I've made that I should probably put up or do something with. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, you guys. Thank you for everyone for the books for <laughs> joining and for for getting creative with buttons. This has been a blast. And again, it's always really fun to see what you guys make because it's always really different. And now I have Christmas decor ideas. This is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next week's theme is um, scraps. So that'll be a fun one. Um, different interpretations. So let's see, yes, yeah, scraps of material, food scraps, ew, maybe. I don't know, who knows. Um, <laughs> scraps. Yeah, there you go, scrappy. Um, all right, well, thank you guys. Thanks, and good seeing everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah you guys too and we'll see you around again whenever you come back on to the show have a great afternoon <laughs> thank you bye, bye.